Hey, what's up, Life Ball Joe here. Today we are going to discuss Kung Fu Panda 2. This came out in 2011. I realize I have only spoken about the 2008 Kung Fu Panda film, never the sequels. So here we are talking about the sequels. So this takes place right after we leave off. You know, Poe po the Panda is the Dragon Warrior. Um, he is now training to learn how to how to get inner peace that Ugwe taught Master uh, Shifu. So he's, which means master, to be honest, which is hysterical. But, um, so let's pose next, next task. But in the process of this, there's this evil peacock out to destroy all of China, um, for vengeance because of family drama, but also that there was a prophecy many years ago that a panda would come and destroy him. So that panda is obviously Poe. So there's a prophecy of the dragon warrior. And now there's a prophecy of the one who's going to defeat this peacock who created fireworks. Now, why it's important to defeat the peacock because fireworks um are it, what's really cool about this is it throws a lot of history in this we have guns because of gunpowder gunpowder started in china originally to make fireworks to illuminate the sky during celebrations that's literally why the gunpowder was existed not to kill people but to create f color in the sky it's great intentions right and look how far we've come within mass murder of various wars, one after another. So, bringing that historical element into this anaphomorphic China of all these talking animals, really cool. I really like that from the history buff standpoint. So, Poe and the Furious Five are off now on a mission to defeat said peacock. And then he gets... Poe gets beaten a lot. And then he has to face his, his inner demons his inner nightmares he's getting flashbacks of what happened to his parents why he is why he was raised by you know his dad the goose at a noodle shop rather than living with pandas in this panda land that he was a part of for quite some time as a kid but then he was thrown on a radish basket and that's where his dad found him in an alley why was he there why did his parents you know put him there what happened to his parents turns out the peacock was on a killing spree of the pandas because he didn't want the prophecy to come true very much like how in avatar less airbender uh fire lord ozai went on a well the fire lord before him went on a killing spree to uh, eradicate the airbenders knowing that the airbender would be the next in the avatar cycle so it's the same concept the prophecy is there eradicate mass genocide a whole race of people so that way nothing can you know transpire but as we learned from the very end, the pandas do exist. The pandas were not all killed. They are now isolated in a rice paddy field uh, village. So it's a matter of now what is going to happen within the third film. Will Poe meet his panda family and meet other pandas like him? What's to happen next? On to the next review. Which mahalo.